Shen was pretty out of it most of her time with Advent. But she swore up and down that she had heard something about the aliens moving people by train. With that in mind, we were able to narrow down the locations where Advent was actively moving trains near the city center slums. We didn't know who we might find down there, but it was up to us to defend anyone willing to stand with the Resistance. Who would have guessed it would end up being one of XCOM's greatest heroes? Shen was right. Advent's extraction team had pulled a train right into the slums outside the city, and were using it as a prison on wheels. Whoever they were holding was obviously pretty important, so we figured it was probably best to get them on our side. Alrighty, folks. Welcome on back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen with the Tactical Legacy Pack. Today, we are trying to I rescue Jane Kelly me. from a Advent prison train. And hello. What have we here? A trooper, a... Uh, officer and a snake to be honest I don't like the snake. as you order commander and apparently a turret because I can hear it reloading 20 times 20 million times okay so that's gonna reveal so let's go here far, but I can reach it uh, let's get Lily up over here and Bradford where do we want Bradford that would reveal... I guess we put Bradford a little bit further back. But that's alright, he has a higher movement than uh, easy. Okay, so you guys are moving away. Are you going to bunch up nice and tight on one tile? We had been establishing contact with resistance cells wherever we could. But there were still plenty of groups out there operating on their own agendas. As we discovered that day, the local contingent called themselves Children of the Earth. And it was their esteemed leader, Jane Kelly, that Advent had set their sights on. So you can see the turret, meaning we are going to activate that. Uh, Bradford, can you make it to the turret? No. However, Lily could shut it down if she can hit it. Alright, so let's do this. Let's toss a grenade. Do I really want to do it this way? Yeah. This is what it takes. Toss a grenade. I can use our Reaper if I need to. This episode isn't even after no breakfast. It's way out. after breakfast. Hopefully that cleared my throat. We'll have to see. But yes, we do activate the turret. We activated both of these as well. Uh, and then, so Lily could... So Lily has to be down here to... S no, she could see the turret from up here. Okay, I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, so that's an 82 to deal four damage, or we could combat protocol it for four damage. Uh, that does eight to ten. All right, take it. Missed the target. No! That's so bad. Oh, that is so not good, Lily. All right, who am I more afraid of? I'm honestly more afraid of the snake. Actually, I'm more afraid of that turret, but... I love how the pain that he jumped through is still intact. Enemy down. Okay. I will go. Uh, let's come up here. Let's take out the officer. Thank you. Now, please don't reveal, because you're really close to the turret. Oh. The turret's going to shoot um, easy here. Yep. Oh, he shot Bradford? Oh, 
Interesting. Time, I had never heard of Jane or her crew. But local rumors had talked them up to be the nastiest bunch of alien killing maniacs west of the Mississippi. If what they said was true, I was more than happy to risk a rescue if it meant recruiting a few more heavy operators for XCOM. Moving out. All right. I do need to get eyes on the other side of the train, and that's why. <laughs> All right, Bradford. Can you make it over there without lighting yourself on fire? You can. Um, anywhere along the line are you going to reveal to them? No. Are you sure? All right. So go here. Wow, that's that's a little scary. Uh, let's go all the way up here with easy. A good decision. And oh, get Zooks. Let's come Whatever stand up here. Over. What are your uh, firing chances now? An eighty-eight. I'm not even gonna take that chance this time, Shen. Just kill it. Had I done that, nobody would have taken any damage. But it is what it is. All right, so the turret's down. Despite Lots of fire. An active and eager resistance cell, Jane was known for her surprisingly quiet, calculating demeanor. While most of the resistance groups were guided by the charisma of their leaders, these Earthers followed Jane because of her skills, not her words. Hi. <laughs> I should get three slashes here. Okay, there's one. Got him. Here's two. Oh, and we missed this one. Okay. I saw that pop up. All right. Uh, let's see here. Where did I place you? Oh, you're here. All right, let's come get this mech. Please hit on the higher end of that spectrum. Nope. Okay, we might be moving you. Especially if I can't find a place where Shen can move to. That she can shoot. Well, shoot. <laughs> All right, let's come up here. Uh, let's get you to pull back. Yes, that was that. not in cover. Uh, we're going to waste a grenade, grenade to get rid of this guy, I think. Are you kidding me? Alright, so we don't have anybody else revealed. Jeez. <laughs> He literally took a I shot from everybody. <laughs> oh man. Now we fight in the open. Once we set her loose, Jane was eager to jump back into the fight. I almost felt guilty about depriving her team of a gifted leader. But if XCOM was going to spearhead the resistance, we needed the best people we could find leading the way. All right, so we've got a Muton and a Stun Lancer back there. Let's get Come set up move. a little bit out of range. Uh, easy, I need you to get up here. I Shen, I definitely need you to get up here. Fast as I, can. I love how they can't just jump between cars. <laughs> they have to go down and then back up. All right. Keep an eye on. I'll watch closely. So there is the end of our early bird bonus. Advent was risking a lot trying to bring our people in alive for interrogation. That's how I knew they were starting to worry about what we might do with the Avenger. Just think where we might be today if they'd gone ahead and executed everyone. That's actually a scary thought, Central. That's my specialty. That is fairly terrifying. Okay, disorient enemies for two turns would be nice, or soldier gains complete immunity for the next two attacks. Uh, let's disorient, since that's a 100% chance. 
Wow. We could have gotten something that was like a 10% chance with that. That is crazy. And it doesn't open the door, so I am going to have to step inside. However, I could do that step inside now. I could use the exercise. To get the door open. There we go. Hello, Managed Jane. To free Jane just in time for her to jump into the fight. I wish that, uh, like, Bradford would carry around additional, um, not, like, like, an additional weapon of some sort. Okay, so we'll be revealed there. So let's move up to here. Seriously? Apparently today is not a clicking day. Uh, and I wanted you over here. My life is in your hands. I am watching. I see everything. Hello, boys. Oh, it's all right. What's not fair? Gotta remember, I can't slash the muton. It's easy to see it now, but I never would have guessed just how valuable Jane would eventually be to our future operations. Aside from the commander, she's way more famous than the rest of us. Hell, even the Chosen have heard of her these days. See, but I don't know who she is. At least My not... Is gone. Not in a... In a uh, this is what she did sense. All right, let's get in here with Bradford. Straight up take that guy out, apparently. Care of. I gotta remember that mutons have parry. Okay, you can see him from here. We're on our way. Just trying to find a spot where we could see this guy and shoot him. Wow. Seriously? Okay. So we need just a little bit more damage, huh? We march towards enlightenment. <laughs> of course he crits for three. Uh, Lily hits for, for minimum and uh, easy crits. Of course that's the way it works. Uh, let's tr still try not to reveal. I'll lead the way. Oh, you're kidding me. Man. I'm going for it. Heading out. I leave the field for now. I'm leaving the battle. Jane was safe and secure. The latest XCOM recruit ready to serve. I'm on the move. All right. I'm out of here. So Lily was one short. I should have moved her up just that one extra tile. I could have. I think. When all was said and done, Jane made sure every soldier on that squad knew how much she appreciated their efforts to save someone they had never even met. Alright, so aside from Bradford getting hit, that wasn't that we bad. Were always on the lookout for fresh gear, especially with the growing number of recruits we had coming in. As much as I would like the Mimic Beacon, uh, I'm going to go with the PCS chips. So we got Shadow Strike, Target Definition, Pillar and Stun Strike. Uh, we got Scanning Protocol, and we got a new Ranger with Phantom and Shadow Strike. Those Shadow Strikes can be extremely powerful. Especially when you don't reveal with the rest of the squad. Within a few weeks of scooping up Jane from the slums, we got word from one of her scouts that the aliens were moving something across the territories. Something big. We couldn't always count on these reports obscured. to be accurate, but from the description it sure sounded like a weapon to me. If it was really as big as Jane's guy claimed, it didn't matter where they were hauling it off to. We couldn't risk it. If we were going to lead the resistance, then we had to start acting like it. 
That meant taking the fight to them. Once we hit the ground, it was obvious we had made the right choice in coming after this thing. It was some kind of artillery piece, bigger than anything we had ever seen in Advent's arsenal. The aliens weren't expecting an attack, but the area was still crawling with Advent regulars providing security. Sorry. Oh, I was in the middle of a yawn. Uh, so yeah, now we have to come up here and put X4 on the siege cannon. Which, you, 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 I remember this cannon. This cannon is annoying to the Avenger. Uh, but yeah, again, we are done with today's episode. So I hope you folks enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there.